Hey people, if you grew up in a Christian family, they probably sent you to Sunday school and the first thing they tried to wash into you was this fable of Cain and Abel. So th I think this is the easiest chapter to read in the original. But to learn more about the names in the Bible, they all have a meaning. And you have to look at where they were born and their mama would, would name them for a reason. And you can see that here uh, where Adam called the wife, called his wife Eve because she was the mother of all life, all living. And you can see it better in the, in the Greek where, uh, where he called his wife Zoe. She was the mother, Panton tomb of the Zoonton, of all the living. You can see it in the, in the children of Jacob, where they all had a reason for name, and, and because my case has been judged to Danny, thus called the name Dan. And because I've wrestled with great wrestlings, Nephthali, great wrestlings, she called his name Nephthali and in great wrestlings. And so all these names, they have a meaning that you have to catch. So this birth of Cain and Abel happens in chapter 4 and the first line comes Cain or Finn, Q-I-N, Finn, for finity, forever. I have acquired. And then Abel comes out in the second line and you don't see a, a word that would match up with Abel here or why he was named that. But this Abel, it, uh, it, it, it doesn't need one because it's easy to see there's no dot in this B and that's pronounced a V. This is evil. E, everybody knows what evil is. And so the word doesn't die here. You know, if, if, you, if you look at it, to say it only comes up these eight times and they're all here in, in Genesis 4. And, and then that's the last time you hear about him is when he was replaced by Seth. But the word isn't gone. You'll, you'll find it uh, another 73 times in different variations and uh, 48 with the exact same spelling here, E-V-L, evil, and it means vanity, and it, it means uh, empty vain, vanity, vanity is, is where you get your word for your sink, and it means you're staring in the mirror, you, you're worried more about what it looks like, the vanity. You might be fooled to, to think that it means the keeper of sheep, the, the Rosan. But if you look at this word, uh, it only comes up just 26 times like this. And it's the keeper, pastor, shepherd, tending. But this same exact word also means evil. 127 times here 667 total with close spellings but the row ROE is the evil the wild beast evil displeasing harmful bad wrong so it seems as though evil wasn't the angel that he's made out to be. So the other thing you have to look at is how how they came about, how they were conceived and born, as in the water what led or waddled. And so this is your base word, this LD of most of births in the Bible. And it and it's uh, where your word wild come from and wield weld, yield. There's about uh, 120 different ways, but it 
mostly comes down to this this word here ILD to yield as in your your crops yield what you get off your crops is is usually uh, it's 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 the LD is in there most sometimes it's WLD sometimes it's WILD wild the Hebrew women had uh, would have their children wild is what it says so on this second line when she bore Abel it uses this word that never uses again and it's what spilled it what spilled it to and so uh you see this word comes up four times and bear and gave or to be delivered or to give not necessarily in birth but to give time a time to give time to die and uh and the praise approaches to give so that's what spelled it or what spilled it she spilled her gut she told me everything or what spelled it this the secret name so I'm gonna read y'all these first four lines in ancient English using the Phoenician letter meaning chart where where all these words are define their self uh, like this I D O T A this I do it that was my my baby Katie I always wanted to help and that's what she would say I do it and so the yod the first letter Y or I is the hand and the D is through and the I is to see to the I I do I do it. I do. I do it. Me. And so, uh, in this Phoenician or Hebrew letter meaning chart, the letter B is when it's in the front or wherever. Sometimes it just means in. The letter E would be the. A vav will be and, or, or, to connected to. Um, the. The L is is of of your of your father or or, or come belongs to of your father, and the M is from out of your mother. So this this is a it's W E. You can see it right here. We we had M from we had from I do to and uh, this A letter is a uh, it's the magic letter it it could be an a or an e or an o but anytime you see it that word reads backwards it's a god letter and that word reads backwards and when you see this tack the next word reads backwards and forwards and so this h is chet ch and so after this it'll be v e the w c h and then back the other way u e the witch who so we had from I do to the witch who what suit her and told to Nifin N I Q I N the Nifin and Tamar or what word finity to Nifin what word finity carve it in that tree what word finity forever C S I A C to and then backwards and forwards E V E have and then Y E W E to have you to knife in what word finity C to have you who's your finity to Eve says you better carve it in that tree you mine forever and then so what spelled it to which W I C H A C H I V to which achieve what spelled it to which achieve to and then backwards and forwards L V E B L to love evil and then this is the word uh, wage uh, how they and it means you're how you gonna get on board my boat is you're gonna have a wage what your job is 
W the the W Y is means why ancient English word why meaning how or who or it's W E I J wage your wage how you're gonna ride my boat to to love the Val Rosan or the Val Rosan and so this is where your word Jesus the cross X on the cross on comes from that sheep right there this is the Valero Sun. And that's what that means. The cross on the, the sheep. The Valero Sun. To love the wage. To love the the ball rosun. To love the rising sun. To find Q I N F I N to find I Oved. This is the Latin word for sheep, to, or obey. It usually means obey all through the Bible. To oved, and then starts with A, so it reads backwards. Them day. To serve them day. To a fine eye, oved, to see and through them day. The, the ways. This is the same word all through the beginning when it said. God said, let there be light, and there was, and it came to be. That's the word they use. And, but it's vav, to yod, make e the yod work. The, the wage, to make the work from fix Jimmy's wife. Find from pre-Adama, many leave. So the uh, from fix is not a a, a course unless you're riding a boat but it's uh when you're shooting a fix is is the location of something get a fix on it and so this jimmies they usually means days all through here the jimmies and so wife comes in two different words sometimes it's w-i-q-h or is in wife and this is and that's uh somebody you would screw and uh, and this wife here, W I V A, this is to make in power, and this is a good woman that you would marry. That's that kind of wife, to make in knowledge, to make in power. The wife fine from pre Adama, from pre before had me. Men he leave l-i-e-v-e -E. many leave there was many days before had me to evil the via goes of who from encrooped the sun to and so the, to evil the via v-i-a via by way of the road the evil road goes g-s Evil road, the G is the foot. It usually means to the moving to, or to lift, to goes, uh, to lift. And then that, this is the final S, and it's pronounced as an S, but it, it means from. To the evil road, the road goes of who from encroot, like recruit. So recruit is a bad word because recruit would mean to do it again, but this is. From in crew, from in crew, to, to get your first crew, from in crew, the sun to, and from hell bend, wish see, your hell bend wishes, you will, you will, uh, you apostrophe L, you will love evil and all. Within Manitou, W T H N Manitou, M N H T U. To hell Ben wish see, you will love evil and all within Manitou. This Manitou, this is an ancient word, and it means spirit. Uh, Asha Manitou means a good spirit 
and a Archi Manitou means a bad spirit. So the Manitou is just a spirit. It would be though where your word Manitor come from. The offerings up to the Manitor was that old bull that they would burn their offerings to. So in Christianity, they try to push the sheep off on everybody. You know, we are the sh Lord's sheep. And sheep are not, it's not cool to be a sheep. If you're a sheep, you don't need to be teaching children. Uh, you don't need to be voting. You're just a blind sheep. You need to wake up and you don't need to be breeding. There's something defective about you. All right, good day.